The right wing war on porn is continuing with eight states now weighing anti pornography bills that would force manufacturers of things like phones and tablets, including companies like Apple or Samsung, to automatically enable filters to censor nude or sexually explicit content. And let's be clear, we've been reporting on things like sites or states requiring people who log into sites like pornographic websites to have to have state ID or something like that. This is a very different thing. This is automatic built in like pixelation and filtering of nude content. That is not an optional thing necessarily. It is automatically activated. And it seems at this point that you will be able to turn it off if you want to. So the idea is that kids would be banned from seeing this material, but adults would still be able to change the setting and see it now at least. But like, in theory, if you can have the option to turn it off, could they not pass a bill later on that stops that? Could they not say, no, uh, we don't believe that anyone should be seeing this stuff. This stuff is immoral, it's violent, it's exploitative. We're just gonna shut it down. I feel like that becomes measurably easier once you have the technology already built into the most popular phones and tablets. What do you think, Jessica? Yeah, it could be their way of beta testing for something like that. I mean, it's Seems like this is the right's political approach to getting things like that done, right? That don't say gay bill started as we're just protecting kids and now they're looking at expanding it to all grade levels. So it does seem like you're right that once they get that initial foot in the door, it's a, a smaller next step. There's less public backlash when they try and take it further. So yeah, I think that's a prob probable theory. Yeah, I mean, look, bear in mind, there have already been attempts in like the last 10 years in some states to ban like oral and anal sex. Like we are not past some of these ridiculous moralist crusades of the past. Attempts to ban, like Ted Cruz had been involved in attempts to ban sex toys in the past. And again, we're not talking about for kids. Obviously a lot of this stuff is going to be illegal or difficult to access for children. We're talking about for adults and I feel like this is the steady creep of them believing that they should be able to put their morals onto you. And not their actual morals, that would be bad enough. But the idea that someone like Ted Cruz will probably end up supporting this when the dude is spending 9-11 liking porn videos on Twitter. Like, come on, spare us. And we know that the South uses porn or like consumes more porn than any other region of the country. So it would be one thing if they were actually putting their values onto us, but they're expecting us to live by values that they will not actually uphold, which is even worse. Um, that said, there's more to say about this. Perhaps we'll cover it in future coverage, but just know that this war on porn, despite how unpopular it is, uh, continues.